a lot of people are doing nothing more than getting huge, huge quantities of mass and see if they can get a, a gravity wave to cause things to move. Mm -hmm. Well, that isn't what, what we're talking about at all. Mm -hmm. So I uh, wondered if gravity could be uh, related to its cousin magnetism. Mm -hmm. And so I, uh, I found that when I take two magnets together, I have some neodymiums around here that I'm actually afraid of. They, They're they so can, strong. They can, they can danger you. Mm -hmm. But anyhow, you take a magnet, you go to put them together and go, and they go clunk, right? Mm -hmm. But you take one of them, move it around, and all of a sudden it doesn't want to yeah, go right. together. Yeah, right, the repulsive. So I got, uh, I had, I ordered one at $5,000 a piece wow. with, with with a quarter inch hole through between both of them and I put a brass bolt and I tighten them down forcing them together mm -hmm. and then I put them together in a thing that looks kind of like a rock mm -hmm. okay and then I got another one that didn't have magnets in it mm -hmm. and uh, Galileo in in all his endeavors he went up to the Leaning Tower of Pisa and dropped the and he dropped a big rock and a small rock mm -hmm. and his buddy down the bottom kept telling him that the large rock, rock and the small rock arrived at the same time. Well, in my left hand I have a, a feather, in my right hand a hammer. And I guess one of the reasons uh, we got here today was because of a gentleman named Galileo a long time ago who made a rather significant discovery about falling objects in gravity fields. And we thought that uh, where would be a better place to confirm his uh, findings and on the move. And uh, so we thought we'd try it here for you. Uh, the feather happens to be appropriately a falcon feather for our falcon. And I'll uh, drop the two of them here and hopefully they'll hit the ground at the same time. How about that? That proves that Mr. Galileo was correct in his findings. Well, I went up to in, in the Lockheed Building 501 Mm -hmm. by the side of escalators and, and elevators. Oh, wow. And I got, I got, uh, I got, I got uh, nine guys that were not educated and didn't have pre, didn't have uh, pre-opinions on anything. Mm -hmm. And I dropped my two rocks. Mm -hmm. and, and I said, what I would like you to do is, I told them what I would like you to do is I would like you to take whichever one arrives first get it in your hand, and when I come down the elevator, hand it to me. Mm -hmm. Now, they looked identical, except for... So, uh, and nobody went, knew what was inside? No, absolutely not. Mm -hmm. All the nine times that I tested it, it's as though the one with the opposing magnet field extending out mm -hmm. three feet on each side, I actually measured how, how far big the field is. How big the field was. And on each side of, a rock, the, of one rock, I had a total of six feet. At any rate, the other the other rock arrived first. Which one arrived first? The, the, one, the one that had no magnetic field in it. So you were able to cancel out gravity to a certain degree. You were you able like to that? cancel, Precisely. reduce the mass gravity effect. Precisely. By, okay. by opposing fields. Isn't that nice? You, you bet. And got nine signatures and wit. I always skip... You, know, you I, did that at Lockheed? I, what what year was this? Oh, uh, at least eight years ago. This is um, the actual document of Boyd's where he proved that by altering the, the field mm -hmm. in a falling body, the magnetic field, it reduced its mass gravity equivalent and canceled out the uh, effects of gravity to a certain percentage. Mm -hmm. And he did a 500, a building 500 drop test conducted from a height of 59 feet. Mm -hmm. The location is in White Sullivan, Texas, and the time was 12.20 p.m., and this was in 1995, December 12th. Nobody yeah. knows this. I know it. This so gravity, is, mass yeah. gravity is not, um, well, it, you can alter it. In well, gravity, uh, gravity within itself has to have, gravity goes through anything that is solid and anything like iron or anything yeah. else. But, I, it's, but it has to have a magnetic component, mm -hmm. which may be canceling out within itself. Mm. But as soon as it got around my rock, it all of a sudden recognized the presence but somebody, of my rock. Uh, one of Einstein's students tried to merge electromagnetism and gravity, and he rejected it. But he didn't have an experiment like you no, did. No, I understand. I, yeah. I, I know that. Yeah. But, 
but but see we yeah, you nature never uses English it doesn't speak it doesn't speak any language but yet it's talking to us all the time right and the key thing is is to identify identify what it's saying.